What is up YouTube? It is the Villa Outdoors here. Today is December 28th of 2021. It's the first time I've been back fishing in a while. I actually went fishing the early November and the last video that you guys saw me upload was filmed on October 2nd. So it's been a while since I've been fishing. And the reason for that is because I was submersed in a busy semester of school. For any of my younger audience who plans on going into a science major or any of my older audience has already been through a science major in college, it can be a lot of work, it takes a lot out of you, but uh, hopefully it's all worth it in the end. So I've been drowning in schoolwork and my job for the past couple months, but we finally got to the end of semester and now we have a little bit of time to do some fishing before we're right back into the thick of it. Hopefully next semester is not going to be as busy and I'll have more time to upload some videos for you guys. But we're finally back at it today at this beautiful stream here. We're going to be going after some wild brown trout today. We're going to be using some ultra finesse tactics on my spinning setup. This is a classic Ugly Stick GX2. And I got the Daiwa Ninja 2000 LT. Very light reel made for light line. So this is... Um, Leland Lore's SOS trout line. This is four pound test monofilament line. It's supposed to be good for trout fishing. And what lure we're gonna be using today, you can see it right here. Let me just get this unhooked so you can see it better. That there is the Leland Lore's mini magnet. It's meant to be used on fly gear or could be used on fly gear. Um, but we're using the spinning rod and we got a little itty bitty split shot about five or six inches above that and we're going to use this to drift in between these pools of current here there's these little brown trout anywhere in the range of four to eight inches that live in this little stream here feeding on little insects and stuff i'm using this to start off with it's a little high contrast um fits doesn't fit in with the background so the fish will recognize it easily um, but they might not be so aggressive but i'm thinking since the water has cooled down a lot since the um, late fall and it's gotten more in a winter. I think they'll chase it a little more aggressive. If not, I also have a um, more black natural looking pattern that we can use to imitate like a little water insect. And we're going to be using this to catch these trout today, hopefully. I would have tried out my new fly rod that I picked up um, over the summer. It's a Orvis Clearwater. It should be quite a bit of an upgrade. Oh, that was a terrible cast. Um, from my first fly rod. But the reason I'm not using that today is because I don't have the leaders for it. Um, I ran out of leaders a little while ago, so I have to get some more. And then we can use the fly rod. But for now, we're just gonna be using the spinning rod. I already have some looks on the mini magnet. So stay tuned and hopefully today is gonna be a good day of fishing for us. I just had one on but I lost it. I'm just casting slightly downstream, letting it drift into the deeper section here. I'm just twitching it ever so slightly. Kind of letting the lure do most of the work because anything that moves a little too fast or looks a little too unnatural and these trout will catch up on it so you want to be as slight with your movements as you possibly can well guys i've been walking upstream for quite a while now i'll probably reach the end of the stream eventually at least the part where I'm allowed to fish I just had another bite so I've had three bites in total two of them which were actually on one of them I just missed the hook set on it's very hard to keep a fish pinned on this hook because this is very small and when you're using spinning setups it'd be impossible to not impossible, but it, it's difficult to try and set the hook or get a good hook in a fish when you're using this type of gear with uh, something that small.
just kind of skipping this thing across the bottom hoping that one of these trout will pick it up been moving from hole to hole and haven't had much luck as of yet apart from those couple of bites I think I just spooked them all fish on got them in the net let's go baby beautiful wild brown trout there let's go ahead and take a shot of them and let them go all right guys just wet my hands got a little brown trout unhooked here we're just gonna let him go there he goes right down here so how I caught that fish we got this big log jam over here we got this current flowing down the one side and it's a little deeper pulled off section on the other side um, I cast it in the deep pool dragged it out just into the edge of the current where it's kind of the currents kind of brushing off into that deep pool and he came right up on the side and swiped at it and lucky enough, it stayed on this time. Bagged him up in the net, got a shot, and he was good to go. At least we broke the ice. Hopefully we can get maybe one or two more. I'm not gonna ask for too much today because that was my first fish in quite a while. And um, yeah, let's get back to it. All right guys, sorry the camera wasn't on because I had just changed lures, but I just got my second wild brown trout of the day. Um, this one I did something a little bit different. I'll explain once I um, get this fish taken care of. Um, but that is our second one of the day there. All right, just went ahead and wet our hands. We're gonna go ahead and release this fish now. Oh, let go of the net. There he is, beautiful little wild brown trout. Back in the water he goes, swimming off right into his hole. So to catch that one, I basically did the same thing as far as like spot locating that I did for the first fish. Um, not really a log jam over here on this side, but we got this current flowing here and then the bottom kind of deepens out. It helps to have these polarized glasses on um, because you can see through the surface of the water without the having any like light reflecting on it and glaring so it's easy to see the bottom and locate these deep pools that i'm fishing and i just cast it upstream just a little bit let my lure drift down into the bottom there twitched it just ever so slightly only turning the reel like a half every second um but i changed colors a little bit and i didn't realize i forgot the rest of my mini magnets at home so this is actually half of a um, normal trout magnet. I actually just used my fingernail to cut off some of the sides a little bit so it's a little bit slimmer but not too much. And this kind of looks like a little midge or like a little tiny water insect or larvae that these wild brown trout would be feeding on in this stream. And it worked out. We caught our second fish of the day. And now we're gonna shoot for our third. All right, guys, haven't had much action since that second fish. I've been walking downstream now, fishing some of the holes I haven't hit yet. Still using this kind of a makeshift mini magnet using the actual trout magnet, as you see there. Um, haven't come across any really good looking spots or haven't seen much trout down this way. I know there are some down here because I caught them before down this way but no action as of yet gonna give it a little bit longer probably not too much because my tummy is telling me it is time for lunch so we'll give it a little bit longer try and get that third fish if not then we're just gonna call it a day all right guys i believe that is going to do it for today i walked downstream quite a bit Water gets pretty stagnant around here. There's not much um, current, which means that it's not exactly as much as a favorable habitat for these trout as upstream would be when there's a little more current. The fish tend to stay in the oxygenated water 
a bit better, especially the trout. So I believe that is going to do it for us today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe learned a little something about stealthy finesse fishing for these wild trout. When you have these clear, small streams and the water is just super duper crystal clear, you gotta use very finesse tactics to try and catch these wild trout because they can see just about everything and their proximity and their surroundings, even stuff that's not in the water. So they could see me. Thankfully we got overcast conditions today so I don't have to worry about my shadow being seen too much. Um, but definitely when it comes to the line and you know, having a split shot on there isn't ideal, but it's necessary to try and cast this thing on a spinning setup using this tiny little mini magnet. It's about as close as it gets to fly fishing on a spinning rod. And these are actually meant to be used as um, little trailers for, for spinning stuff. Not spinning stuff, fly fishing stuff. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will be back hopefully soon to film a few more videos for you guys before I have to go back to school. And hopefully the schooling is not as intense as it was last semester. I have a little more freedom when it comes to fishing. Um, but yeah, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. It doesn't cost you guys anything. So in the holiday spirit, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're about 75 subscribers away from 700. So hopefully we'll get there soon, hopefully by you know, February of next year, maybe a little bit sooner. That might be a little long. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Ville Outdoors. You guys have a wonderful week. I'll see you next time.